welcome to another episode of Run with Julia and Jane. And not running with Jane. <laughs> <laughs> Jane's my pack pony. We have here, perhaps, perhaps Jane, how do we show it? I'll um, pick them up. Yes. <laughs> I have been carrying some of it. Two of those. We have two, two of, those. of those. And then quite a few. There we are. There we are. And we've just arrived at Stratford International and we're on our way to the Olympic Park where it is the run through women's only event. And we've got a stall and I've got on hand for advice and general love and advice. <laughs> and at quarter to seven I'm holding the warm up and Jane's going to do it. <laughs> yes, I'm like, I am going to be, it is going to be, I am going to be jumping around, aren't I? <laughs> yes, and then there can be more. Chris is going, Chris is um, doing her first 10k for seven years. So you're going to meet Chris. We, we did a Run With Julia interview in December and she talked about, Chris edited the Running For Women magazine, Fitness magazine and Men's Health magazine. Super, loads of awards for her journalism. And I did an interview with her in December, which I'll put the link under here. But she's now doing her first race in seven years. Brilliant. So we're on our way. And amazingly, I know the way because I came here on Saturday. So we're fine. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> Here we are at the Olympic Park. Is that what it is? The, yeah, setting up is happening all around us. So she's here. So I have heralded you, and I've said that we met in December on... 2009, I think it was. We did meet 2009. But I was actually talking about December when we did our interview. Oh. You're right. The first meeting was December 2009 when we met in the snow and had to run to the radio interviews. Yes, that's right. Yeah, in the West End because there was the tubes were down, which is a bit strange given that there was snow and, and the tubes were underground. But yeah, <laughs> I remember thinking that was weird. But yeah, many years ago. And then again, this December. This December. We kindled contact. And, because yeah. tell us about your running. Because we had a... We had a interview on my Running with Julia channel, which is this, what this is now, and we had an interview about you returning to running, and here, today, your first race in seven years, so tell us. Um, yeah, I've always loved running, I've not been um, particularly, well, I'm more of a tortoise than, any, than a hare, but I've just always enjoyed distance Tortoises running. Tortoises win. Tortoises, well, they keep going forever, <laughs> don't they? They plod on, they plod on. We met, actually in real life, December 2009, and you were yeah. heralding women's running which you were editing and yes, the, that's the right, main yeah, person yeah. so we went on radio and broadcasted it to the world then Chris interviewed me when I ran across Spain in my bare feet six years ago and then you put on Facebook that you were resuming running I commented and then you responded and then I went oh do you want to be interviewed on Run With Julia and here we are now with Chris going to run 10k yeah, and it's a subject that I love to talk about, and I think I've got to a point where I was doing more talking than doing, so I thought <laughs> I'm, I, I'd love to chat about it. And then I realised when I was particularly talking to friends and family that I was talking about it, about things that I'd done in the past. I did this race, I did that, and it was all in the past, and I thought, well, it'd be great to be able to do something again and have a, a future in running, you know, in recreational running and do some races. And uh, I do love the warm weather. Um, I did the Brighton Marathon in 2011, which was similar temperatures to this. Okay. So I'm hoping that I'll be alright for this one. I'm very excited about it. Um, actually, having Julia motivate me as well, because I think when you've said to somebody in an interview that you're going to do it, <laughs> you can't, you know, you can't be full of it. You've actually got to do it. And, and Julia's background, very much in my mind, I know you're a completely different level. You're a former international athlete, but I still think you're, what you've done is an inspiration. Do you? <laughs> I've just picked up my race number. I think I was the very first person over to the race stand, um, so that's enthusiasm. And uh, it all feels very real now. So we have, the stands have all been set up. I didn't do very much actually. I didn't do, I did very little. I put on Chris's um, chip. I was good at that. 
Jane put up both of the stands. Jane did the box. Chris did something. <laughs> Not very much, to be honest. I think Jane did it all, and she's behind the camera filming, so she's. Uh, Jane did it all. So Jane we're, did we're it all. We're taking all the credit for it, standing here in front. Of we did offer. <laughs> I'm not being lazy. <laughs> Want to remain? <laughs> Seconds. So good evening everybody, lovely to have you here tonight, thank you so much for joining us. It's, uh, it's, it's lovely to be here on this glorious Wednesday evening for the run through women's 5 and 10k powered by Stonex. I'm sure you're all very excited to be here, you all look like you're in your zone chilling at the moment which is quite nice. If anybody wants a shout out, by all means do come and let me know. Julie is a short be no burpees, we're just going to have a lovely fun time. Happy smiley, lovely to have you here, Julia, as always. We have Kevin and Lizzie again. Cheering. Hi. Uh, we had them on Saturday. They're coming regulars. You've just come to be in the film. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they come. To, and you, have you done anything before this? I smile warm up. Oh, this is your warm up. They've just done it. You've done your warm up. Because on Saturday, Lizzie had done a, a whole thing, a whole park, park run. run. Mm -hmm. And now she's. Now she's you warmed up, you're ready. Because yeah. they don't. She doesn't do my warm up. Come, Mike. <laughs> He won't, he, won't, he won't say much. Oh, brilliant. Mike, Mike is truly inspirational. He How many medals? How many medals? Uh, Hello. I'm Rotman. Uh, Hello. Okay. Uh, yeah. uh, wow. 936. Oh, really? 936 medals. 936 medals. <gasps> Anyway, he is amazing. After that Nine hundred thirty-six medals. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. He is a regular yeah. at run through. He's been quite busy. He, he, he was in. Um, in. <laughs> in his youth, he was um, trampoline British trampoline champion. Oh wow! wow. And then had a heart attack at Park Run two or three years ago, and had heart bypass and all of that. And here he is. Here he is. Running. Yeah, he's great. And he is, he's every, he's all practically all the run throughs. Like yeah, everyone, yeah. I said to you on Saturday you're coming and they said no and here they are. So, yeah. This is so good. Yeah. good there. I'm gonna well you can watch me warm you up, even yeah. if you don't warm up. Yeah. Women. Yeah. For women. For us. Yeah. So it's best to support from the outside and support the inside. Yeah. Very good. And that you will get on with it, you know. I don't want to get in the way of like three hundred women. <laughs> <laughs> starting the warm-up very very shortly so make sure you spread yourself out we've got plenty of space here come a little bit more forward towards the stage and we're going to start the warm-up very shortly here with lovely Julia and she'll get you ready to race hello good evening and welcome to an amazing evening with run through and to see all you women is just awesome I started running a long time ago I was in 1974 July the 4th, I was the first woman in a boys running club and in I have seen, <laughs> I, I had to, the only one I could go that was near my home, yeah come nearer, and so I had to go up, I went up July the 4th 1974, joined all these boys and I, now apparently the club, Hazelmere Border Athletics Club has loads of women and to see all you women here is amazing, I'm still running, 50 years on, and we're going to warm you up tonight, so off we go. So if we start with marching, and then one arm back. Are any of you running your first ever 5k tonight? 
No one. Oh my word! Wow! There's no stopping you! 
We like a sprint. Even on a, on a hot summer day. And I have to say thank you so much for your energy. We've had Kerry, Helen, Philippa have all come into the finish. Go Polly! Wow, look at that for a son. Look at that homemade banner. Where did that spring from? feeling it was a uh, it was amazing actually um it's funny isn't it because you get a bit of a or i get a bit of a dip about a third of the way and i start thinking why am i doing this and then it goes away and then you get a euphoria feeling where you feel like you can do anything you go on forever and that's the thing that makes me do it and then you get that immense sense of achievement at the end which is exactly what it's all about and i recommend it to anybody and uh, i'm so chuffed to have been able to do it thank you for entering me so hopefully we'll see you very soon <laughs> just a, a little a little five minute five minute chat really just to find out a little bit more about women's running your journey introducing the lovely julia kai who's going to be just saying a few little words you've got a few little things to talk to us about haven't you julia um so Lovely to have you here today. Thank you as well also for doing our warm-up earlier on. It's lovely to see you again. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about tonight. Have you enjoyed this evening? It's been amazing. I loved it. I love, love, love doing the warm-up. They were an incredible gang. And to see this sea of women that I couldn't see the end of, and it was awesome. Yeah, and fun, the whole vibe. And run through events have always got a high vibe. And you, Carla, your wonderful energy and endless spirit of... By Highness. <laughs> Thank you so much. Very kind of you to say. Um, so talk to us a little bit about women's running, your journey, your story, because I know we chatted earlier on very, very briefly. Um, so just tell us a bit about your journey and what it's meant for you. So my journey. Well, I started running from a tiny, tiny thing right from when I was a little girl. I knew I kept, had come to run. And then when I was 15, I knew that I wanted to get better. And so I thought, I have to join an athletics club. I had a dream. I really dreamed that I would run for England. I just dreamed it. And so the athletics club nearest was Hazelmere Border Athletics Club, but it was all boys. And I couldn't get to any other club. So the chairman said, we don't want girls. But the club captain said, send her up anyway to my mum. So I went up on July the 4th, 1974, up to the athletics club with my best friend Wendy, a bit of moral support, and I joined this club which was all boys. And apparently now there are more women than men in the club, but I was the first woman and for a year I trained on my own and then the other girls started to come. After a year I was alone and then two others came and then this little girl who was 12, I was now by 17, she's my friend today still, her name's Rachel and Rachel's son Harry is there. And, <laughs> and so Harry, is the, there was, I used to be called Star as a nickname because I then became quite a fast runner. And so Rachel and all of that era, they all still call me Star. And the children of Harry and his siblings, they all still call me Star. But it's amazing, when I first saw Harry at one of these events, it was like, oh, wow. So I had this dream that I would run for England. And then I read the book, Jonathan Livingston Seagull, which is about a girl that soars higher and higher and higher. And I read that and I was, there's a phrase in it where it goes, your whole body from wingtip to wingtip is nothing more than thought itself in a form you can see. Break the chains of your thought and you break the chains of your body too. So I went, I'm gonna do this. I had three England trials before I achieved it. Rach by this time has joined the club. Rach also became an international runner and she was she was inspired by me. I was the big girl. I was 17. She was 12. But I had my first trial and we set off. It was a cross country race. We all fell into a tangle and then leapt up. I raced to the front, but obviously it didn't happen. Then I went the next year. I went, I'm going to do it. I didn't have breakfast. I thought it would make me a better runner because it'd be like I failed that time. The third time I remember going with my sister to this place for this international trial and it was three laps and you had to finish in the first six and the first lap I was in about 20th, the second lap I was in 12th, we moved into the third lap and I was in the first six and I knew I was running to my international vest and that was awesome. So what I would say 
is dream and keep dreaming. I'm 65, I was 65 in May and it's such an exciting thing because I've gone into a new age group and I've always been, I, I was born with a running body. So I did run for England. I ran for England all through the 80s, but I'm still loving it and I'm still going for it. So dream whatever you want to dream and go for it. And if it doesn't happen the first time, keep going. And also go and follow the boys because I I wasn't a, I was the only girl and they wouldn't leave look they wouldn't wait for me. So in the early days I was hanging on and I can still remember my chest burning because it was too fast for me. But I got better and I improved and improved and I I, I did say that I was very, very posh because I went to the girls' private school and the boys were all the local comprehensive. So I turned up posh Julia. I was very posh then. And I'd never sworn. It was 1974 and they taught me to say fuck with a posh accent. <laughs> so I was... <laughs> and they taught me to spit and all that stuff. But... <laughs> So I then learned, and then I was, anyway, so, so they taught me lots of things. They said, <laughs> and I, I've now found, I had this, I hadn't seen him for 45 years. We met at a park run, one of the boys in the club who announced to us, he came down, we ran the Woolacombe Dune Park Run on my 65th. And he told everybody at the assembled breakfast table that he'd had this, he was three years younger than me. I gave him a lift in my sports car one day, and he said he'd gone to heaven because he had a crush on me. And I didn't know. 45 years later but <laughs> but I would just say have fun the one of the reasons I'm still running is I've always made it fun my mum said to me one day when I was running in the Hampshire Wiltshire Dorset Championships and I had a lot of pressure on me to win and actually I did win but I went to my mother and said mommy you don't expect me to win do you and my mum said to me darling I don't mind if you come last I want you to have fun and her legacy's lived on for all my life because she actually died when I was young not that long after that but it lived on in my heart and I think she'd be loving seeing me now having fun still having fun so I think I don't know how long I'm meant to speak for but that feels that rounding that up yeah. yes we could talk all night <laughs> so thank you and thank you for listening and thank you for coming and doing my warm and thank you Harry I love it I love seeing you there it's so special but little Rach I used to I still call her little Rach because she was 12 when I was 17 and here she is, went to her 60th recently. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. Thank you, Julia. What an inspiration. Thank you so much. Well done. And uh, very inspiring by your story. You look amazing. So really, I guess what you're saying, a lot of it is all mindset. It's and having, mindset, having fun, passionate and just dream big. If it goes wrong, doesn't matter. Keep going. Thank you so much. Can we just give Julia another massive round of applause? Thank you so much for sharing your running journey, Julia. I didn't know that. We could talk all night, Julia. We really could talk all night. Um, Amazing. Such fun. Well done, you. And well done, Run Through. And, uh, yeah, and, and well all done, the organisers. And well yeah. done, all the Jane and Dave, the supporters. Extraordinary. Absolutely. So Jane and I have found the dark horse. We're on our way home and we slumped for here, which was fortunate because they were closing the kitchens in five minutes. And here we are. Cheers. Virgin gin and tonic. We've both got a virgin gin and tonic. An idea if he were here would have the real thing. And we're about to have a delicious supper. It's on its way and it's now nearly 10 o'clock and what an evening such fun thank you run through thank you jane chris and dave thank you all the women everybody there at run through it was an incredible carla thank you for being an amazing compare just it was just fun 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 and we're still having fun we're kind of out and pounding <laughs> what next <laughs> but thank you thank you for watching thank you for running with me thank you for running with julia and if you like the video as always put your thumbs up and thank you everybody who subscribed and it's been a lovely new gang as i said lovely all the all the people who've already been following me for the last or running with me for the last 18 months but we've had a whole new influx and i have to do um, a shout out actually to Steve who I think hasn't missed the video from the beginning and um, thank you, he has been such a loyal running companion and I appreciate all of you hugely and thank you and I'll see you next time